dear students today we discuss a new topic that is the uh, network theorems actually uh, these theorems are very helpful to determine the unknown values of the current resistance and voltage in an electrical network suppose if you have a complicated circuit that consists of large number of resistors in parallel with the voltage source uh, like uh, this one okay then then suppose you are asked to find out the what is a current through this resistor then to find out such a current or voltage through any one of the components or to calculate the resistance through uh, any one of the arm of the circuit this network, network theorem uh, will help you to determine those values fine actually uh, there are three theorems the first one is a uh, the Wenz theorem and the second one is a uh, Norton's theorem third one is a uh, maximum power transfer theorem and the fourth one there are four theorem actually fourth one is the superposition theorem all these theorems are used to determine the unknown values of current resistance and voltage in electrical networks okay uh, today we will discuss first of the thevenin's theorem before going to this theorem i would like to explain the kirchhoff's voltage and current laws fine this is already explained in the previous chapter that is uh, uh, the voltage law the first one suppose you have a circuit like this consisting of two resistors and uh, two voltage source like this this is e1 this is resistance r1 r2 e2 then the kirchhoff's voltage law says that sum of the voltage in the circuit that is the uh, voltage through the resistance volt uh, r1 is i r1 the voltage drop across r2 is i r2 whose sum is a summation i into r plus total voltage that is the e1 and e2 these are the emf that is a sum of those voltages i will write as a emf that is equal to zero okay the sum of the voltage in a circuit is equal to zero next law is the current law uh, so you are very aware of this uh, this laws i am not going to explain in much detail that is the current meeting in a junction is equal to zero suppose there is a junction like this one the current going into this junction the first current is i1 another current is i2 the current leaving the junction from the junction is the uh, i3 i4 then the current law says that total current in the circuit that is if you look at this picture this is a uh, the current going into the junction we take a positive is plus i1 plus i2 the current leaving the junction it is i3 and i4 put a minus sign minus i3 minus i4 that will be equal to zero current entering is equal to current leaving fine then uh, simply we can represent this is the summation of the total current that is equal to zero these are the kirchhoff's voltage and current laws that we will apply uh, while calculating the unknown values of the resistance current or voltage in any of the given circuit fine and uh, one more information that uh, we need to remember is the determination of the voltage sign this we should know what is the value of the voltage it is the sign of the voltage to be given while solving the the circuits the first one the first one suppose if you have a battery 
like this we will we are processing this is a e voltage source and this is the negative terminal of the battery this is a positive terminal of the battery uh, this is a nd a this is a nd b while solving the electric circuit we will take a path that we will go from a to b you can choose any direction either from a to b or from b to a then if it, this is a path taken then while coming from while coming from a uh, from a then first you will meet the negative terminal of the battery therefore you have to take your voltage as a minus e okay. suppose in the similar way if you have a uh, voltage source like this from a to b that is uh, here the polarity of the battery is plus this is a minus and uh, the path uh, you are taking you are going from a to b this is the path while going from a to b first you will meet the positive terminal of the battery therefore use this uh, this a plus e okay. take it as a plus e depends upon which one you first see if it is a negative symbol negative polarity of the battery take minus sign if it is a positive polarity of the battery take a positive e next uh, in the circuit you will have resistance also this is nd a this is nd b and the current flowing through the resistor is i then if you take the path from a to b then the voltage you can write in this fashion that is if the current and path are uh, along the same direction then take voltage as a positive v is equal to i into r suppose in the same diagram that is a and b if the current is flowing in the opposite direction and your path is along this direction here the current and path are in opposite direction then you have to apply a minus sign for the voltage voltage can be represented by v is equal to minus ir if current and path are in opposite direction put a minus sign if current and voltage are in the same direction put a plus sign for the voltage now let us discuss Thevenin's theorem that is the first theorem we discuss this theorem is helpful to determine the unknown values of the current or the voltage or the resistance in any network uh, suppose if you have a network consisting of a large number of resistance voltage source and that is uh, I will represent uh, those things as a linear network linear active network that means this may be of uh, any network consisting of a large number of resistance voltage etc connected in series or in parallel then uh, if you are asked to find out the current through the load resistance that is uh, uh, this is a point A and this is a point B our load resistance is connected here then we need to find out the current through this load resistance RL we will call this is a current L current IL we need to calculate what is the value of the load current flowing through this resistance RL then you may have a doubt that what is this linear active network that is a network consisting of a large number of voltage source resistance like uh, this one suppose if you are asked to find out the resistance through this uh, current through this resistance RL then you can take it. this is a linear active network this is the uh, meaning of this 
uh, block diagram. Then what Thevenin's theorem says that the theorem states that any linear active network with output terminals A and P can be replaced by a single voltage source that we called V Thevenin in series with a single resistance R Thevenin. That is, this can be equated to this fashion R Thevenin connected in series with the V Thevenin. That is a wall circuit can be replaced by a single resistance and by a single voltage source. This is a point A, this is a point B and this is your RL. Okay. That is this R Thevenin means this is the Thevenin's resistance. V Thevenin means this is the Thevenin's voltage. Actually this is the called the equivalent Thevenin network. That is any linear network that can be replaced by a single resistance R, R Thevenin and a single voltage source V Thevenin connected in series this connection that is I will write the statement here then we will go for the explanation okay before go into the explanation of the theorem let, let us discuss what is the meaning of the linear active network that is this linear active network means is the network in which the resistance and inductance do not change with the change in the voltage or current. That is a network in which the resistance and the inductance do not change with the change in the voltage or current. That will be the constant. Now let us come to the statement of the Thevenin's theorem. That is any linear active network with output terminals A and B can be replaced by a single voltage source V Thevenin in series with a single resistance R Thevenin. That is, if you come to this picture, that is, this linear active network can be replaced by a circuit with a single voltage source, that is, V Thevenin, connected in series with a single resistance called RTH. Okay. Where, what is the meaning of the V Thevenin? That is the V Thevenin is open circuit voltage at the terminals A and B after the load resistance has been removed from A and B. That is after removing the load resistance from the circuit then whatever will the voltage is there in the circuit. That is uh, the voltage between the terminal A and B after removing the load resistance is called the V Thevenin. Uh, that I will uh, I will explain while doing the problem. Then uh, R Thevenin means this is effective resistance measured between the output terminals after replacing all the voltage source by their internal resistance. Actually, um, we will replace all the voltage source by their internal resistance. Then we will measure the total effective resistance in that circuit. Then that resistance is called R Thevenin. Okay. Then what will be the current through this load resistance RL? That is we called a load current IL. The Thevenin's theorem gives the answer for this. That is the current through the load resistance will be equal to V Thevenin divided by R Thevenin plus RL that is the total voltage divided by total resistance that is this is the this is the current through load resistance okay this statement will be clear while doing the problems now we start to do the problems let us do the first problem apply Thevenin's theorem to find the current 
through the load resistance 15 ohm in the following circuit. The 50 ohm resistance is given here, connected here. That is a load resistance. We are asked to find out the current through this load resistance. That is, we have to find out what is the IL. That is, we know the expression for the load current. That is nothing but V thevening divided by R thevening plus load resistance R. First, we have to find out what is a V thevening, then R thevening. Fine. Now, let us do the calculation of the V thevening first. That is, find V thevening. Okay. Actually, from the definition, that is, uh, we have written here, V thevening is the open circuit voltage at the terminals A and B after the load resistance have been removed from A and B. That is, we have to remove the load resistance. Suppose if this is your the point A, this is your point B, we have to remove the load resistance, this RL. Then to calculate what is the voltage in the circuit. For that, we have to draw a picture, that is the 24 voltage source is there. and 3 ohm resistor this is 12 ohm resistor that is we have removed the load resistance fine now here you have the 24 voltage here and its internal resistance is 1 ohm to calculate the thevering voltage we assume that a voltage that is a V thevering is connected at this terminal. Okay, this is not a real voltage source at the uh, position of the load resistor. Then next uh, our target is to draw the direction of the current. That is the current flow from the positive terminal of the battery and goes like this fine no current will flow through this arm why means here the in this region uh, we have disconnected our load resistance that is no resistance is here this is actually a broken circuit therefore there will not be any current flow through this arm okay current will flow through this arm only fine we believe that or we consider or we assume that V thevening voltage is connected here. That is a virtual voltage source. Fine. Now let us, we have to consider a path to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law. I consider, I take this as a path okay, in the clockwise direction. And if this for this first loop and the second loop, I take up another path that is uh, this one. Now we can write the equation of the voltage that is while it's coming from the path that is along this direction you will meet first the negative terminal of the battery therefore you have to write minus 24 plus then while reaching here the current the current and the path both are the same direction therefore we have to write the voltage across the resistance 3 ohm is the volt current into resistance i into 3 okay then uh, we reached here while going through this path we will see that uh, the current and the path both are along the same direction the value of the resistance is 12 ohm therefore the current flowing through this arm is again if i write this is a current i then the same current i is flowing through the circuit therefore this is plus i into 12 and we reach it here and we coming along this direction that is this path again we see that there is a small resistance 
there is a internal resistance of this voltage source therefore the voltage drop across this small internal resistance is i into 1 ohm that will be equal to 0 total voltage in the circuit sum of the total voltage in the circuit is 0 that is nothing but the torch of voltage law this can be written as minus 24 plus 3i to i and 1i this will be the 12 plus 3 15 plus 16i 16i is equal to 0 from this you will get that is uh, i is equal to 3 by 2 ampere actually we are interested to our aim is to calculate the Thevenin's voltage first but we got the value of the current only to include the Thevenin's voltage we have to consider the this loop 2 this was the loop 1 consider this loop 2 that is in the loop 2 you have to write the equation of the voltage while coming along this direction you will see v thevenin's voltage v thevenin then reach it here and to complete the loop you have to go in this direction here the path is in the upward but the current is in the downward therefore you have to take a minus sign then what is the current flowing through this arm it is a current i minus i the voltage drop across 12 ampere is 12 ohm is 12 that is equal to 0 then from this equation one can write v thevenin is equal to 12 i then you know the value of uh, i that is here just substitute 12 into 3 by 2 that is nothing but 6 into 3 is 18 volt that is the Thevenin's voltage okay that is to find the with Thevenin's voltage what we did is we, we removed the load resistance RL and what next what we did is and connect with Thevenin next uh, to calculate the load current we have to calculate the Thevenin's resistance also that is the next step is find or calculate R Thevenin according to the definition as given in this Thevenin's theorem that is for R Thevenin that is the effective resistance measured between the terminals after replacing all the voltage source by their internal resistance that is here we have in the circuit we have to replace all the voltage source actually we here we have the voltage source 24 volt this 24 voltage we have to remove and connect its internal resistance 1 ohm okay that is to find with having the important step that we have to do is replace all voltage sources by their internal resistance okay now if you come back to this picture if you remove this voltage source then we have to connect this one ohm resistance that is short that is i will draw the picture here i removed that 12 voltage instead i connected one ohm its internal resistance then the 3 ohm resistance is there then the 12 ohm resistance is there okay then keep a and b as an open circuit do not connect rl to this uh, circuit okay now uh, whatever the resistance is coming in between this a and b terminal that is uh, r thevenin that means after replacing the old voltage sources by their internal resistance whatever the net resistance is coming in that circuit then that resistance is called the thevenin's resistance you can see here that this 1 ohm and 3 ohm ohm are in series 
that is I can write R thevening that is equal to 1 plus 3 the two resistance are in parallel with the 12 ohm resistance okay this 1 plus 3 ohm resistance is parallel to the 12 ohm resistance this is parallel that is 4 is parallel to 12 that is how can you write calculate the uh, two resistance in parallel that is r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 is 4 into 12 divided by 4 plus 12 48 divided by 16 this answer is 3 ohm that is the r3 here uh, i would like to share with you a shortcut for example if you have a two resistance one one is the 12 ohm another one is the sorry one one is 24 ohm another one is the 12 ohm if anybody is asked to find out what is the net resistance then if you do this calculation that is r net it is equal to r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 it will take much time because you have to multiply 24 into 12 it will take much time and then you have to divide it to the sum of 12 plus 24 plus 12 instead you can use this shortcut that is r net can be written as the highest resistance the numerator in the denominator highest divided by smallest plus one see this will be very easy to apply in the given combination the given resistance highest value is 24 ohm 24 divided by the numerator highest that is 24 the smallest that is 12 from the given combination 12 is the smallest one plus one that is 24 divided by this will give you 2 2 plus 3 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 uh, that is um, 8 ohm okay then the same if you apply here that is uh, net resistance will be highest resistance in the given combination that is in this combination is 12 is 12 divided by highest divided by smallest plus 1 12 divided by 3 plus 1 that is 4 this r is equal to 12 by 4 is equal to 3 ohm okay hereafter you can apply this shortcut okay let us come back to the calculation of the r thevening r thevening we calculated then we are almost reached in the answer uh, to calculate the current to the load resistance that is you substitute the value of v thevening and r thevening and rl already you know there is a 15 ohm before that what i would like to do is we can draw this picture that is uh, uh, in the third steps to calculate the load resistance what we have to do is uh, replace the whole circuit by v thevening and a series r thevening okay that is v thevening voltage v thevening this value is nothing but we have calculated 18 voltage then connect it with a series resistance that is r thevening that is 3 ohm fine this is your output terminal a and b that is the volt circuit is now reduced to a single voltage source connected in series with a single resistance rth okay in the fourth steps what you have to do is connect that load resistance back to the terminals a and b connect rl back to the terminals okay that is very simple 
on this circuit this v theveni this is r theveni here you have the point output terminal a and b connect your rl back this rl was 15 ohm i think this was a uh, yes 15 ohm then the r tethering we obtained that was 3 ohm b tethering 18 voltage fine now as the equation of the load current that is v tethering divided by r tethering plus rl il is equal to v tethering that is 18 voltage divided by 3 plus 15 18 plus 18 that is equal to 1 ampere that is the load current is equal to 1 ampere this is the application of the Thevenin theorem to a circuit in this case we calculated the load current now let us do the second problem then this procedure will be easy to you and the second problem in the circuit given find the current through 1 ohm resistance that is 1 ohm resistance is here they are asking to find out the current through this 1 ohm resistance i will write that uh, current you, i will say this is a load resistance therefore the current through the load resistance is il okay next first we have to write the expression for the current that is current through the load resistance is equal to v thevenin divided by r thevenin plus load resistance rl first we have to determine what is the value of v thevenin that is uh, first find v thevenin okay to find out the v thevenin uh, what are the procedures that we did earlier that is first remove your load resistance rl the second was connect v tethering in the place of rl then your circuit will be of this form you have the 10 volt source here then here 5 ohm here this is open we removed the load resistance and we connect our v tethering that is the this is not a real voltage source then you have the 15 ohm here no other changes here the voltage source 20 volt fine we removed the load resistance and connected the range voltage fine now we have to consider two loops that is before consider the loop i consider the current flow this is the positive terminal of the battery current flow from the positive to negative terminal of the battery goes like this the current i denote it as a current i this current cannot go through this arm because here this is open circuited circuit is broken therefore the same current will flow that is i through this circuit fine and it will complete the circuit fine now we have to draw two loops this is the loop one and this is the loop two loop one and loop two the direction is both uh, uh, clockwise direction we have to write the equation of the voltage for in each loop for the loop one uh, uh, we are while we are uh, going along this direction because this was the direction of the loop here the uh, we we are meeting the negative terminal of the battery first therefore we have to write minus 10 then next we reached here that is here the current and the path are around the same direction therefore the voltage draw, drop across the 5 ohm that is a plus 5 into i then 
while coming along this path we see that there is a voltage that is the virtual voltage source V happening then while coming like this there is no other resistance or the voltage source therefore this will be equal to zero then from this expression we can write v thevenin is equal to 10 minus 5 i or oh, this is equation number one because we need to calculate i then we have to substitute here then you will get v thevenin then consider the loop 2 okay in the loop 2 you are starting your journey from here this is the path the current and the path are along the same direction therefore this is the 15 i then uh, you reached here you see that the positive terminal of the battery first therefore you have to write plus 20 this is a 20 voltage plus 20 then you are coming down and you are completing the loop and to complete the loop you have to reach here then while reaching here you will see that voltage source is there therefore you have to uh, uh, write you have to take this is a uh, v thevenin okay actually suppose you can connect this v thevenin in this way also that is a positive and a negative terminal of the battery this is nothing but a v thevenin then if it is so while coming down you have seen the positive terminal of the battery we have returned the positive positive then in the second loop you will see this is a negative terminal therefore this is a minus v thevenin if you are telling that this is a voltage source even if it is a virtual also the battery source have a positive and a negative terminal then this right hand side will be equal to zero from this one can easily write v thevenin e is is equal to 20 plus 15 i this is equation number two fine okay now solve these two equations that is uh, from equation one and two the left hand side is same therefore you can write this as a 10 minus 5i you can equate the equation 20 plus 15i that is 10 minus 20 is is equal to 15 plus 5 into i that is 20i minus 10 is is equal to 20i from this i is equal to minus 1 by 2 ampere this is the current the value of current i then to calculate the width of simply you can apply it to this equation one that is put i is equal to minus 1 by 2 ampere in equation one you don't omit the sign negative be careful you have to keep the same sign while substituting in the equation one therefore v thevenin is equal to 10 minus 5 into minus 1 by 2 this will be 10 plus 5 by 2 that is 25 by 2 is equal to 12.5 volt that is your thevenin's voltage okay now we have to calculate r thevenin that is the second case find r thevening to find r thevening you have to replace the voltage source by the internal resistance replace all voltage source by their internal resistance if you come back to this picture again if you replace the whole voltage source means if you look at this picture according to the thevenin's theorem to find out the Thevenin's resistance, we have to replace all the voltage source by their internal resistance and we have to remove the load resistance also. Therefore, this picture can be redrawn like this. We have short circuited because we do not have any internal resistance for this voltage source. Therefore, that is short circuited. Then, this 5 ohm resistance I can write draw like this. 
this is your 5 ohm resistance next next we have to remove this load resistance from the circuit therefore the terminal is a and b that load resistance has been removed this is a 15 ohm and the voltage source is replaced but we don't have internal resistance that's very short circuited so you can redraw this picture like this this is the terminal a this is your 15 ohm resistance this is your 5 ohm resistance this 5 ohm this terminal b 5 ohm is parallel with the 15 ohm the net resistance of this circuit that will be equal to the r terminals okay whatever the net resistance is coming between this terminal that will be the r terminal therefore i will draw that simple picture here that uh, 5 ohm this 15 ohm is parallel to the 5 ohm then the r tavern it is very simple highest resistance 15 divided by highest by smallest 15 by 5 plus 1 is 15 by 3 plus 1 is 15 by 4 and this the uh, 15 by 4 will become around 3.75 ohm now you have v tavern and r tavern the the third steps you have to connect the Thevenin's voltage that is V Thevenin that we obtained 12.5 volt in series with the R Thevenin that is the volt resistance have been reduced to a single resistance whose value is 3.75 ohm and uh, this was your terminal A and B okay the volt network is can be replaced by a network with a single voltage source and a single resistance that was the statement given by Thevenin in the fourth steps you have to connect connect the load resistance back to the terminals A and B fine that is here the V Thevenin 12.5 volt and you you have the R Thevenin 3.75 next connect rl back the rl was 1 ohm so let us check what was the value of rl yes this is a 1 ohm resistance rl is 1 ohm now we have to calculate what is the current through the load resistance that is the expression for the current is given by il is equal to V Thevenin divided by R Thevenin plus RL is IL is equal to V Thevenin 12.5 divided by R Thevenin is the 3.75 plus 1. This will be equal to 12.5 divided by 4.75 and this value will be equal to approximately 2.36 ampere. In this way, what I can calculate the value of the load resistance of any linear active network using Thevenin's theorem. Next, uh, I would like to do one more problem uh, for you. There is a last problem in this topic. That is the third one. Apply Thevenin's theorem to calculate the current through the 4 ohm resistor in the circuit. The 4 ohm resistor is given here. We have to calculate the current through this 4 ohm resistor. Let us say that is our IL. Okay. First, what we have to do is uh, find the Thevenin's voltage. Find V Thevenin. For this, first you have to remove the load resistance and connect v tavern okay for that uh, i will draw the picture here 
that is the this is 15 volt 10 ohm 5 ohm here remove the load resistance instead we connect the 7 inch voltage that is positive and negative terminal V7 that is a is not a real voltage source it is a virtual voltage source the 6, six voltage fine next we have to draw the flow of current direction of the current flow from the positive terminal the current starts to flow the current reaches here the current meet two arms but here actually there is no connection here this is actually open circuited the v in that we connected here is a virtual source actually there is no connection here then the current flow through this arm only okay the current is denoted by i fine now we have the two loops i take this is a loop one and another loop is a loop two now we can write the Kirchhoff's voltage equation that is while going from this direction that is your we are considering the loop is in this direction you will see that first the negative terminal of the battery therefore minus 15 volt then once you reach here the current and the path are in the same direction the voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor that is plus 10 into the current flowing through is i you reached here current is flowing this direction downward path is around the same direction voltage drop across this 5 ohm is again 5 into i then once you complete this path there is no more voltage source or resistance therefore the right hand side is equal to zero that is minus 15 this 10 i plus 5 i 15 i that is equal to zero that is this i is, is equal to one ampere okay now to calculate the v thevening where do we consider the loop 2 this was our loop 1 now consider loop 2 from the loop 2 we are going along this direction you see that the positive terminal of the thevening voltage therefore you can write v thevening and reaching here you will see that the positive terminal of the battery first 6 volt then while reaching here and complete in the loop at the time you see that uh, uh, current is flowing down in this direction and your path is that is opposed to this current flow the voltage drop in this arm that is minus 5 i is equal to 0 fine from this expression v thevenin can be written as that is a 6 voltage that is a, a no need to write the voltage here you can delete this one v thevenin is equal to 5 i minus 6 you have the value of i here 1 ampere is 5 minus 6 that is equal to minus 1 volt okay now we have calculated V thevenin is equal to minus 1 volt. Next, we have to calculate the R thevenin. Find R thevenin. For this, we have to replace all voltage sources by their internal resistance. Okay. If you look back to this picture, we don't have any internal resistance for these voltage sources. Therefore, we can redraw that picture in this way. Short circuit that region, and this is your 10 ohm, and here you will have 5 ohm, and this point that was a load resistance that we have removed, 
and in the right and the right side of this picture here here all the 6 ohm voltage also we have short circuited therefore nothing is there okay this is the terminal a and b this can be redrawn like this so 5 ohm so a this is b there is r thevening is the effective resistance between this terminal a and b that is here 10 ohm is parallel with the 5 ohm therefore r thevening can be written as highest resistance divided by highest by smallest plus 1 10 divided by 2 plus 1 that is 10 by 3 that is equal to 3.33 ohm this r thevening is equal to 3.33 ohm see here you have v thevening here you have r thevening i can apply the equation before that we can draw the picture that is a uh, connect rl back to the terminal a and b then uh, connect v thevening in series with R thevening, resulting diagram will be of this form. This is R thevening, this is V thevening. So, value is 1 volt. We neglect the sign, no problem. R thevening is 3.33 ohm, and load resistance that is 4 ohm. Therefore, the current through this 4 ohm that was our load current it was our aim this i l is equal to v thevening divided by r thevening plus r l that is equal to v thevening is 1 volt r thevening is 3.33 plus r l is equal to 4 then this value will be 1 by 7.33 this load current is 0.136 ohm. Okay, this is the current through the load resistance. I hope now these problems related to the Thevenin's theorem are very simple. Okay, now you can practice more problems from the textbook or from the other sources. Okay, thank you very much for the attention.